All right, Theistic Scuffles, Adam Zentz here, uh, back for the promised second part um, where I wanted to address some of um, an another uh, issue that uh, Kind Avenue raised in regard to what we might compare miracles or supernatural phenomena um, to today. So what can we find that's comparable in today's environment that would um, help us better grasp the reports of uh, miracles and um, marvelous phenomena today. Now at about 5 minutes and 15 seconds is kind of what I have in my notes here. He compared healings to Elvis sightings. And I think that's worthy of some uh, future, uh, some further deliberation and response. Um, the Obviously, um, the theist, the Christian theist, uh, who argues for God's um, involvement with his creation, both providentially, both um, for salvation by giving grace and also by providing signs and wonders through prophets and apostles, um, and his son Jesus, of course, primarily, um, the, the Christian theist is going to... Um, deny or, or find, I guess I should say, find dissimilarity here or disanalogy. So where would we find disanalogy in this in terms of comparing it to uh, Elvis sightings? Well, um, Elvis sightings are not um, continuous in terms of when someone is has this vision or apparition that they believe is Elvis, we don't find them um, tracking and um, finding um, someone whose identity is revealed to be that of of the person we know as of Elvis. Um, whereas with healings, um, this that would be analogous if we found those who had claimed to be healed through faith pr faithful prayers, if they um, had the disappearance appearance of a um, an illness or a disease and then it, the the illness or disease recurred or came right back let's say after the faith healing session or after the prayer was administered by a priest or pastor um, what we find though in the reports is we, we do find follow-up so we've, we've got longitudinal um, verification for the miracle report so in other words we're going people are going back a year you know months years later and saying okay are the goiters still gone um, is the cancer still gone in remission what have you um, it has the person who has been raised from the dead are they still alive um, or was that just kind of a fluke where maybe they were raised from the dead and you know maybe a couple of hours or days or weeks later they're they are deceased again. Obviously, that wouldn't hold the same kind of credibility. Um, but the uh, uh, Dr. Keener in his presentation pointed out that um, these folks are still living years after the fact. Um, as a matter of fact, the goiters, which visibly vanished um, in in the uh, face of spiritual warfare prayer, um, they were they were permanently gone um, or removed. Um, there were cataracts that were uh, removed from eyes, and um, they they were follow ups. Um, follow-up investigations done on those to make sure that the the healing had actually taken hold and there was not a recurrence um, of the original problem or or disease um, so I, I guess that would be the the primary area of dissimilarity um, where there would be a lack of parallelism between um, Elvis sightings and um, miraculous uh, supernatural miracles or or uh, phenomena. Now, <clears throat> another er area would be group. Um, is this a group sort of of um, delusion? Like in the Elvis sightings, there may be individuals, but is there a whole group who um, is uh, is uh, believes that they have seen the um, the reincarnation of Elvis or the actual um, person of, of Elvis. Um, where in the case of um, many faith healings, um, there are multiple witnesses um, to the event. It's not just a single individual who says, oh yes. Um, and as a matter of fact, we have skeptics um, who are there who don't even really believe in divine healing. They don't even believe that necessarily miracles or signs and wonders are for today, and yet um, they observe them um, right in front of their face take place. Um, I don't think you have that as much um, with Elvis sightings. I don't think you have people who, who are not looking for that at all, who are completely uh, skeptical, um, 
who then um, recognize this is a genuine um, Elvis sighting as really um, authenticating the, the person of Elvis in their um, sighting. So I just thought I'd point that out. And um, But again, I, I look forward to further dialogue and, and feel free to leave comments below. I'm going to kind of leave out my, uh, my face on this. So I'm just going to put some background pictures uh, in the video. All right. Thanks for uh, listening.